A signpost maps it out for the Carter graphically challenged. That would be rat Challenged. <laughs> Let's see. See what? That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. A hat trick? Survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. A survivor. A dead person. Other dead person. Other dead person. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Eating the world, you kind of have to eat the whole world, don't you? I guess he could let the cr let the crumbs fall on his chest. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Right, boy, He's, a surfler. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Don't worry, little furry. <laughs> That's a spark of light in you! What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. Oh, fight nice, kids. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. 
destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Sifu. 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 That's a Tai Chi teacher. <laughs> Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? I don't know. Let me spend my point for crying out loud. Um, This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. Damn them. That's the Myriad tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. It's up here. The trail that led up to nothing. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Hello. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says everyone wants to see the Sifu. You're in luck, though, as his schedule just opened up. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. Vigilante? He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. 
He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. My Muma? Get out. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. Get out. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. Save the tree of life. He was hoping you'd join them. <clears throat> you understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Ah. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. I go. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurled. Cannot defeat rat. 
bow. Whatever ails you. Take some. Rugster. This doesn't look like a nice place. This Time is, is lost nice on this place, shop. but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. on the post let's see uh. as time passes memories fade and sometimes feelings change it's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Oh, I don't have to talk to Elvis. Here. Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. I don't like Elvis. Like maybe the real Elvis, but the furry one. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. When you does, he wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Nope. Been on my own. Goop says some choose to be lonely because no one understands what they're going through. If that's you, he'll try to help you if you let him. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Why? Knowing how to swim won't solve life's hard problems, but at least one of them won't be drowning. Hey, put me down. You little weasel. Swimming. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. 
Yeah, you killed me, you little weasel. When you got the goop. <laughs> Quit it. Child abuse. I can't swim. No, I can't swim. Help me. Oh, help me. Help me. Oh, just made it. <laughs> he says that wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, it was. You almost drowned me. Oh. He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. Come help me, Mooma. You Save promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. Alright. Oh, I lost track of time. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. I'll see you there soon. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. He has another familiar face with lots on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. Well, if you pick it up there, I don't have to. Do me, not now. It's your own future you're risking by not caring for the environment. The next generation will pay for the mistakes of the last. <laughs> you should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Recycle your own shit, you weirdo. What's this? Recyclables? Rubbish pile. He wonders what usefulness you found. Something old makes something new. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. He says only a few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Alright, teach me how to upcycle. Crafting intro. See here. Uh, hat grind.
did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. She made something for Muma, so she can kill you with it. <laughs> he believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. <laughs> Damn it. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. I was hoping Gizmo. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. I'll try harder. That's all she's ever asked of you, that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. The bullies three. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. Are you scared of me? A funky donkey donny. He's not scared of anything, least of all you. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. Why do you, no one needs to get hurt. You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. Weapon. What else do? She asks if you're hurt. What happened? You're envious because I have you. Kala. She's there for all disciples. That's her commitment as Sifu. And when she needs them, they're there for her and each other. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Yeah, bullies. What's up here? Nothing. Come on, let me in. I should do that to them. Double drop!
someone close to heart, doing what he does best? He asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for training. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. Something familiar to renew? He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. When do we leave you will find add-on? to be crafted into an item to increase the stats of the item to upgrade your armor and clothing with items select the slot add on then press X that's the the coolest one spark plug Seven gives me a plus one crit. Eight and a plus one crit. Let's do that eight with the plus one crit. There we go. Angle scrap. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. Why at Odea Haya? You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. I'm here, ready to go. Hopes you're as ready as you claim to be. 
She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thank you, Mooma. <clears throat> Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Oh, it's the stoner. Hey, big guy. That thing going. Get back here. It's my hopper. There. Oh, no. Oh. Back here. Back here. Get over here. Come here, grasshopper. Little bastard. Oh, I'm supposed to hit Y. I saw that. Catch it. Got you. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Green. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Will it record what happens to me? Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. Uh, yeah, it's true. It's getting late. Sanna, you're there. Says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Quit petting me weirdly, Mum. This isn't Alabama. Get the tongue back in your mouth. Nothing could stop Luke and Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Useful for cooking steaks. Ah! <laughs> Tough little kids survive <laughs> that. Oh. Oh, no, no. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. <coughs> Kids.
good. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. I'm going where you're going. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Faster, faster, Mooba, faster. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. Well, you better be afraid of it right now. <laughs> the creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. I want to be that big dude.
as the moment fades and is lost. The only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Best. Just shoot it. 